morning everybody it's as you all know december 31st the last couple of hours before 2020 is here 1 1 2020 and i really didn't write anything down i didn't have anything prepared on paper i did have some things prepared mentally that i thought about um throughout the day my drive home and then as I was taking down the Christmas decorations, um, I did glance at my phone at one time and it showed me 70707, which is an angelic sign. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but that's another topic. And anyway, I took that meaning to heart. Um, what I was thinking when I was, before I even checked the phone to see the 0707, was I want to get everything in order, meaning, okay, Christmas decorations packed away in the attic, in the places that they're supposed to be for the ending of 2020. Everything in its place is the way I was thinking. And my, my focus shifted to um, uh, an inspirational page that I follow on Facebook and it's basically said that what are you preparing for what are you focusing on in 2020 and then it was a good question because i had so many things in my mind going on and i don't really know if i focus in on any one thing and then i said well what is it you want me to do lord for you that I'm not doing already what can I do better so the things that I really want to focus on in 2020 is first and foremost my relationship with Christ um, I want to better that in any way shape or form that I can whether it's through my gifts my talents my purpose my everyday interaction with people um, that I don't know and people that I do know. I just want to be able to give him more of me through that and then just more time with me alone in quiet time. I also want to focus on my health and my body. Um, I feel like 2019, after I came back from vacation, I just let it all go and I didn't care. And uh, believe it or not, it is on my vision board. And that's something that I've kind of strayed away from as well. So there's a number of things that I need to do for me in my life to get back on track. And it's not what people say. 2020 is just not another day. It's not another day because you'll never have another day like the day you had the day before. The next day is always different. Tomorrow is going to be different. Tomorrow is going to be January 1st, 2020. It's going to be a different work day for you, a different outlook. Relationships are going to be different. Conversations are going to be different. And if you think that it's not, then you need to look within yourself and ask yourself, what's allowing you to say that it's going to be the same? Nothing's going to change. It's just going to be a different year. I have goals, we all have goals, and I think the new year brings us an opportunity to get a grasp on those goals. I think as we do this every year, and I'm like, Lord, you prepared me enough in 2019 at the beginning that when I, when I step into 2020, I'm going to be on it. Because what I didn't know then that I learned throughout 2019, I know now and I'm ready to implement it. But I just want my affirmation from him to let me know that what I want is also what he wants. And I think that's what we all should come to want when we want, when we face things in the new year. We want different things, but we want to see if those things line up with God's will. And that is the most important thing. Um, 
I have a lot of issues on my, my heart as well that I would like to deal with. And I'll deal with those privately along with God. And we can sort those out. And he can speak to me the best way that he can, which is probably through sleep and through other people is one of his best two ways of communicating with me. But I will not rush him. His time is his time. And there's a lot of things that I need to learn in the interim of waiting. So while I wait, I'm going to continue to gather my list of things that I need to focus on uh, the, for the start of the year. And the things that I just want to do for myself um, that's going to make me a better person and ultimately make the people around me better people as a result of coming into contact with me. I'm definitely praying for a church home. Um, that's something that I'm having a real hard time with because nothing that I've seen is what I was expecting or what I was happy with. So I'm still in, in search for a church home. So if you know of a church home in Katy or in Houston, please let me know. And I will be happy to do my research and stop by and see if the sermons feed me because the sermons that you listen to or the preacher does not do the sermons that he does every Sunday to entertain you. They are to feed you. They are to nourish you. You are to take notes and you are to go home and you are to study upon them. But I digress. This is a new year. We're learning new things. We're walking into positive new relationships. We're going to speak positively about all of our situations, including anything about us and or other people. Um, this is all coming from my heart and I sincerely mean it. Um, I am so tired. It's been a long day, but I'm thankful. I am so thankful for my family and everyone and my husband and my grown children and my grandkids. I'm so thankful. You have no idea. But Happy New Year. I wish you guys all the best and I will talk to you in 2020.